And uh, Faye Lyons is next, followed by Wayne Scott. And then followed by Nancy Smith Leah. Good afternoon. My name is Faye Lyons, and I'm here on behalf of CA South Central's uh, um, over 1.8 million members. I thank you for the opportunity to comment on the staff report regarding the 2010 Bikeway Network program that is before you today. CA South Central Ontario's members are motorists, transit users, cyclists, and pedestrians. In fact, again this year, we will be supporting the city by executing on bike safety education and awareness campaigns through our Watch, Watch for Bikes program. Today, my comments reflect the safety concerns for all road users as we share Toronto's road network. We are happy to see that the construction of major new trail systems, particularly the bikeway trails in the Finch and Gatineau Hydro Corridors, are a priority in this plan. These projects will result in 30 kilometers of new trails, offering a safe and bicycle-friendly environment that will encourage people of all ages to cycle. CA also supports dedicated bike lanes where Toronto's infrastructure can safely accommodate. Interestingly, this is consistent with some of the findings from a Toronto 2009 cycling survey where non-cyclists and cyclists alike, 90% and 95% respectively, feel that separating bicycles from motorized traffic would provide the greatest improvement to cycling in Toronto. However, CA has some serious safety concerns with a number of pro proposals in this report. Many of these proposals fail to meet what we at CAA deem to be criteria in any proposal that should be proposed by the transportation services. These include, does it improve mobility for all road users? Does it improve safety on Toronto streets? Does it improve our environment? It is the responsibility of this committee to ensure that before approving this report today, you as a committee and as councillors of this city are confident that these proposals meet this criteria. For example, many of the bikeway routes described in this report will utilize Sharrow markings. Sharrows are a type of bicycle pavement marking that is used where there is not sufficient pavement width for bicycle lanes. This report states that Transportation Services has developed guidelines for the application of Sharrows, but the report does not address or provide criteria of when a Sharrow should or should not be used. <clears throat> CA has safety concerns with the implementation of these markings without proper consultation and without a public education campaign. For example, I spoke with the manager of CA's driver training program who writes approved ministry <coughs> curriculum. She wasn't familiar with what a Sharrow was. I've asked around. I haven't met a lot of people that know what Sharrows are. Is the general public aware of what a Sharrow is and what it looks like? If the width of the lane does not accommodate a bike lane and road users are not familiar with this marking, will it not cause confusion on Toronto streets? Is this a safe policy for Toronto road users? Today before you is another proposal for a pilot project to remove a lane of traffic in each direction on University Avenue to install a protected bicycle lane adjacent to the median. University Avenue is a major arterial. It is a route used by emergency medical services accessing three Toronto hospitals, Mount Sinai, the Hospital for Sick Children, and Princess Margaret. Included in this staff report should be the findings from the preliminary traffic analysis as well as the volumes of traffic on University Avenue. This proposal will not improve mobility for all road users. It won't improve safety on Toronto streets. And by reducing a full lane of traffic in each direction, it will increase congestion. This proposal clearly doesn't align with improving Toronto's environment, not to mention the frustration caused by the increased congestion on this major arterial. On behalf of CA South Central Ontario, I encourage you not to move forward with this report today. For the safety of all road users, this committee needs to send this report back to Transportation Services for a comprehensive analysis of these proposals with a direction that each proposal meet the criteria of improving safety, mobility, and the environment. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions of the deputant? Councillor Vaughn. I just want to get, so your criteria is improve mobility for all. Yes. What was the second, the other two? Safety. Safety. For all road users. Right. And improve the environment. Okay. Can you explain how sending this back will improve mobility for all? How sending it back? How sending the report away will improve mobility for all road users. Well, because it needs further analysis. No, but how does that improve? If your goal is to improve mobility for everybody, cyclists, pedestrians, and vehicles, how does doing nothing improve the, 
situation? Well, this the way it's proposed right now. No, I, I, I'm not talking congestion. about how it's proposed right now, but doing that. Well, your your, just doing your question is improve? sending it back. I'm, I'm recommending that it not move forward as it is. The today. question I have is a very simple one. How does it improve mobility for all by doing nothing? Because it needs to be consulted. It needs further analysis. How does it make it safer for cyclists on University Avenue by doing nothing? This report. I'm here to comment today about this report. And you're telling us to and do nothing. This, no, this report has, has gaps in this report. Fair enough, but and I'm asking you how to, doing nothing. In, am, in am I saying safety. doing nothing? Yeah. I, I think I have answered the question. And then the sure. final question is, is how does doing nothing improve the environment? <laughs> I think you misunderstood the... I'm just trying to use your evaluation to see how the status quo would do nothing. Say do nothing. I think I think there might be. I'm happy to explain to you what well, I mean. So you what do I support mean. doing something. I support this report going back for further consultation because I believe that there's gaps in this report that will, the way it is as stated right now, will increase congestion on Toronto streets and will not improve safety or the environment. Any other questions of the deputy? Seeing none. Thank you very much.